São José dos Campos, uh, São Paulo's countryside. They decided of my speeches while we let them do to us. So, I wish I could stand here tonight and say that we are all equal, that we are all free, and that we all have the same opportunities. But that will be a story, and this is a speech. Therefore, I can't give myself the pleasure of imagining a world in which the truth doesn't exist. The truth is out there, and the truth is here in this very room tonight. Since humanity is humanity, it has been organizing itself in groups of power and privilege, letting other people who do not have access to the same rights and advantages that they do. This has been through the course of history until nowadays, and we can clearly see it to the struggles groups, groups face. And tonight, I'm focusing in the minorities, which aren't really the minorities, but yes, the, minor, the minorities in which society makes us believe we are. Well, let's start. When a gay kid was beating up in my city two weeks ago, in the school, in the public school, and no one said anything about it. The media mentioned it once in a local journal and an advert again. My friends didn't know about it. I didn't know about it. No one knew about it. Why? What media doesn't tell us, common sense allows us to forget. And that's critical. That's critical because it makes people believe, it makes society believe that minorities, that these people, that us, we are nothing, that we don't have friends, that we don't have morality, that we don't have a family, that we don't feel bad about ourselves, that we don't make speeches and perform. So, repression is something we all go through, every human being does, but some groups, some people exponentially more than others. It's so deep and so cruel that it can be equally painful at a look of disgusted contempt from a family member to a collective beating on the street. We create a society within hateful stereotypes, common sense images that turn ourselves and our society into a detectorship in which the repressors are ourselves every day. So, we think, what can we do to change it? Everyone has its power, and yes, we can change the world. And the changes aren't about donating a billion dollars to, to an organization or creating a new stuff that no one ever seen before. It's about the simplest things. The most sincerest kind of militants is in the simplest things. It's about not laughing at that joke. It's about not judging someone only because of what you saw in the television. It's about seeing yourself in other people. And that is unbelievable, unbelievably changeful for someone else. And yes, that's the real concept of our life. It's what you can do to other people. It's how you affect other people's life. And yeah, the world is changing. But we have several, several powers and several instances where we can still act to change it. All right. So, Gladys Spector, a famous Brazilian writer, once wrote, freedom is a word no human being can describe or define. However, there is no human being who doesn't, who doesn't understand it. Some would say that the freedom and the act of free, freeness for a person is impossible, and that would be only acceptable and true in a dreadful world. So therefore, I'm willing to stand here tonight and say that I am here for a dream, and I believe that each one should also be. In our, in our single little power ways, in that look, in that smile, in not laughing, or just making a speech. Thank you so much.